finally have my official build video, man oh man, with your YouTube. It's your boy Davis, man. Thank y'all for dropping by. Hopefully y'all enjoy your time here. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm officially here with my build video. Now a few days ago, I did post a build video, but with Mike Wang and all the 2K devs tweeting that they're gonna be changes left and right, and actually explaining what badges do, it changed my opinion completely, and I have some badges I want to take out, I have some adjustments I want to make to my build, and let's hop into it, yo. So first things first, I'm going with the point guard. There is no difference, or there's no, rather, upgrade you get from being a shooting guard versus being a point guard. Left handed, I've been left hand in every 2k come on now the skill breakdown as you guys know this is where your archetype is basically chosen i went crazy on a play sharp last year this year i'm going with the playmaking and the sharp shooting as the primary things i'm going crazy again this is the closest build to basically a playmaking sharpshooter, bruh. The physical profiles are your speed, strength, acceleration, and vertical. Only one of them makes sense for a guard here, and that's the fastest one. Now, this right here is extremely crucial by choosing your attributes. So, I'm maxing out my close shot, maxing out my driving lip, maxing out my driving dunk. And for the standing dunk, I'm actually going to only go to 37 because that is what gives me the sixth finishing badge, all right? That's key right there. You feel me? Mid-range. Three-point free throw. I'm actually all that out. I need the most shooting badges as possible, bro. Same thing with my playmaking badges. These are all super important to me. I need them playmaker badges. Those are huge. Now, being a guard, the first things I'm going to upgrade here are my perimeter defense and my lateral quickness. Then I want to go crazy with the steal. Now, my reason for not touching interior defense like that is because I'm a guard. I'm not going to be in the paint that much. And when I am in the paint, I'm going to have my lockdowns and my rims helping out or hedging. I'm going to have a lot of help down there. Look at these badges. Six finishing, 22 shooting. 23 playmaking, and I got one defensive and rebounding. 52 badges total, bro. Y'all see me, all right? Not only is it 52 badges total, but peep right now off the rip, we have the 84 three-pointer, the 69 driving dunk, 77 driving layup, 85 close shot. Look, come on, now we're going crazy. Plus, we have the 88 ball control, which, of course, is going to make me be able to speed boost. Body shape doesn't do nothing to your attributes. I'm going with built. Cause it looks tough you feel me the height now i'm actually going with 64 and even though it brings my ball control down to 86 i'll still be at a speed boost but i'm gonna make up for it in a little bit i'm bringing my weight all the way down y'all it gives me a plus two in acceleration and it makes my lateral quickness faster wingspan this is huge by making my wingspan lowest wingspan i have an 88 three-point shot and 87 mid-range my ball handle went up plus three i'm about to be out here with an 88 three-pointer now my takeover bat to me as a place as a playmaking sharpshooter it makes the most sense the sharpshooting takeover now i know it says it's for spot up shooter but it boosts your three-point shooting regardless so it's not like it's only going to be effective when you're spotting up it's going to boost your three-pointer all over the place that's it that's going to wrap my build an offensive threat, Gilbert Arenas, Kyrie, and D'Angelo. I like that, because Kyrie can dribble, he can shoot, and Kyrie is extremely good at finishing in the paint. Now we're gonna test this guy at, at 99. You guys see, this is where it matches out at. Hey, this is this is super dope, yo. Now for my finishing badges, all right? I've changed a lot in how I feel about this. Mike Wayne mentioned Giants later. I think it's an extremely good badge. Hides the effectiveness of layups over tall defenders. I'm putting this thing on gold. Fancy footwork improves a player's ability to beat defenders with an advanced layup or dunk gather. You guys know I'm the king of Euro steps. I do so many Euro steps in the paint. I need my fancy footwork on gold. I have two gold finishing badges. Now for my shooting badges, I've learned so much, especially through Twitter. For instance, you will not catch me with steady shooter on my player ever again. I saw Mike Wing tweet out that steady shooter can help you make contested shots, but it goes against you when you're shooting open shots. What? Yo, you will not catch me with this badge on. I thought it made sense at first, but nah. Anyone who has that badge, is, is, is it's a setup, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. So the most important badge off the rip, difficult shots, I'm putting that thing on Hall of Fame. Difficult shots has been one of the most overpowered badges in the last three or four 2Ks, bro. Quick draw. I'm not sure if you guys noticed this, but when you try to cook somebody this year, even if you create tons of space, there's a possibility they can get a contest just based off the fact how slow people's jump shots are. Range extender Hall of Fame. That is limitless range from all the other 2Ks. I'm about to be pulling that thing from deep. I need big greens, all right? Dead eye reduces the impact of a defender who is closing out. So not only do I have quick draw to get the shot up closer, the late contests are not even gonna matter on me because I got my dead eye on gold, yo. Flexible release. Reduces the penalty suffered from mistimed jump shots. Now, all you guys know those games where you get full whites, bro. I should not be having my full white to miss just because I'm an inch off of getting a green. I'm putting that thing on Hall of Fame, as a matter of fact. Tyler Shooter improves the player's ability to make shots from fatigue. I put this on the Hall of Fame 
just for the fact that I dribble a lot, I ISO a lot. So after I cook somebody, I do not want it to be like, yo, I'm tired, so now I can't make a shot. What? No, bro. I need to be green that thing even when I'm tired. These are my shooting badges. These make the most sense for me. Catch and shoot, corner specialist. All these are more of spot up builds. And like I said, I'm a ball handler. I dribble at the top of the key. I ISO. So I don't necessarily think I'm going to need any of these badges. Playmaking. This is huge. Angle breaker, Hall of Fame off the rip. Tight handles. Hall of Fame off the rip. Quick first step needs to be on Hall of Fame. I speed boost, like I said, I'm an ice, I'm gonna be balling. I need to go crazy off of my quick first steps. Handles for days is extremely important, reduces the amount of energy lost when performing jello moves. I'm about to have Gatorade on Hall of Fame, yo. Unpluggable. I'm putting this on Hall of Fame because I'm not gonna sit here and get spam my lockdown this year. Dimer, I'm deciding to put this on gold. I know for a fact that I'm gonna be playing with lockdowns and if they have a lower three-point shot, me passing to them with Dimer is going to give them opportunity to make more of their shots. With my one defensive badge, I'm going with Clamps. Boost the ability to stay in front of the ball handler on the perimeter. Those are the badges I think make the most sense. But most importantly, that is my player build. That thing makes the most sense. That's going to wrap it up for my build video. I know I'm coming to you guys super late with it. But at the same time, all those changes changed my mind. They have me feel a different way about different types of badges. You feel me? If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. This is my playmaking sharpshooter build. Thank you guys for the love support. It has been amazing. It's been with Davis. I'm out. Peace.